Austerity isn't over. It isn't over for the kids who don't have the textbooks they need in school. It's not over for the young person still living at home who can't afford to move out. For the patient left waiting in pain. Their operation delayed once more. Nor for the elderly person living in fear because violent crime has doubled in five years. Austerity is an ideological choice made by politicians who don't use our hospitals, live in our neighbourhoods or rely on our public transport. Bringing the chaos to an end starts with electing local leaders who have the courage to break with a strategy that's not working for the many. Who won't stand by while your park, library or police station is closed down, sold off to private developers. Public services like the NHS are among our country's greatest achievements. They support us from our earliest years, always there for us when we fall. We must move quickly to protect and build upon what generations before us built, what belongs to us. Our country is one of the richest in the world. We can afford to keep our schools open, make sure a day's work pays a proper living wage and build enough affordable homes to end the housing crisis. We can do this when we work together. Because a party made up of hundreds of thousands of people from every region of Britain will do things very differently to a party funded by the privileged few. Labour will rebuild our communities after years of austerity. We'll make our high streets thrive again with regional development banks supporting local shops and small businesses. And our councillors will work with you to bring decision-making back to where it belongs, the community. The time for tinkering around the edges is over. The time to act is now. Vote Labour on May 2nd.